Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today I wanted to bring you a story on some initial performance numbers for the GTX 1070 that are being reported over on videocards.com. So they posted up some benchmarks running on the 3D Mark Fire Strike at normal ultra and extreme presets here and we've got those numbers compared against a wide variety of nvidia and amd cards so let's take a look at the numbers here we can see the 1070 sitting there just below the gtx 1080 in terms of performance and uh it is it is well it's well behind the 1080 but you can see it's actually just ahead of the titan x only you know being about a three percent difference there versus titan x so really really close and beating it actually here but it is worth noting that this is running at stock speeds on the titan x and 980 ti and other cards there so if those cards were overclocked more than likely it would be able to beat out the 1070 they did note here that the 1070 was able to boost up to over 1600 megahertz and overclock to just over 2000 megahertz which is not that much different from the gtx 1080 but it is still appearing to be a slightly cut down card compared to the 1080 which is to be expected honestly but i still think based on these numbers here it looks like a really good successor to the gtx 970 and uh certainly not the nerf job as uh, as brian was was hinting at. i think this more looks like a buff they i think the 10 the 1070 got a massive buff going from the 970 if we're talking about it beating a 980 ti and a titan x at stock speeds even uh, you know, when the 1070, the 1070 is running overclocked versus stock Titan X and 980 Ti, that's still really, really impressive if it's beating a $1,000 graphics card, and the MSRP for these is going to be $379.99, but obviously the Founders cards are going to ship for more than that, and then we'll see the AIB cards coming in uh, shortly after there on the GTX 1070, and I think it's going to be a really uh, interesting launch. I'm, I'm really more interested to see what the 1070 can do uh, than the 1080 at this point. I mean, I'm still obviously going to get, you know, the 1080s on the channel, but I'm just as excited here to see um, the 1070, what that can really do with that around that $400 price point when it's putting up numbers comparable to a th current $1,000 graphics card making 4k and ultra wide and you know 1440 you know 60 hertz plus gaming accessible to you know people in that sub 400 dollars price range which is going to be amazing i think for everyone um i think it's going to allow a lot of people to move on from the uh you know 1080p nipple so to speak and uh and upgrade to the to 1440p gloriousness okay um just just kidding there whatever it's, it's all good man we all game at resolutions resolution is just a number if you believe Ubisoft. All right, so I wanted to switch gears here quickly to some numbers that you should definitely take with a massive, and I do mean a mahusive grain of salt, okay? Even videocards.com has said, you know, just take these numbers with a grain of salt. They almost didn't even want to post them, so... What this is showing here are some, like, very loose numbers on some chips that we don't even know exactly which ones they are, but if you could do some basic math, like, you can kind of figure out that maybe it's a 480 and a 480X... Maybe, and then Crossfire, which would put the Crossfire right behind the 1080, but the 480X would be somewhere above the 980 and behind the Fury. So, yeah, those benchmarks are there. I'll, I'll link to this below. I just wanted to mention it because it, it, it's, it I guess it's the thing. It's out there. If you want to be aware of it, I'll, I'll post it below. But I didn't want to put it in, like, the title or anything and try to clickbait anyone into the video uh, just for, like, those Polar the Polaris numbers that may be a uh, complete bunk. So the, ten the 1070s numbers, though, according to video cards, are pretty legit so i'll post those down below for you guys as well and you can let me know in the comments what you think about the performance of the 1070 and if that shit maybe changes your mind if you were waiting on the 1080 seeing how close it is in performance about 24 percent slower than 1080 but three percent faster than titan x here so interesting numbers let me know your thoughts in the comments below and uh i'll catch you next time Turn.